Welcome back to MAPE's Weekly Update. I'm Richard Kajewski, MAPE's Legislative Affairs and Communications Director. We're down to the final two weeks remaining in the 2013 legislative session. Conference committees are now working out the differences in the major budget bills. This process is beginning to move very slowly while awaiting an agreement to be worked out between the Governor, Senate, and House on a tax bill and way to finance the initiatives in the state's budget bills. The big news from last week was the House's passage of their minimum wage bill. Their bill will raise the minimum wage for large employers to $8 an hour in 2013, $9 in 2014, and $9.50 in 2015. And raise the minimum wage for small employers to $7 in 2013, $8 in 2014, and $8.50 in 2015. The minimum wage will automatically adjust inflation starting in 2016 and will be capped at 2.5%. The majority of Minnesotans are now earning less than they did a decade ago, despite being better educated and more productive than ever before. The wage gap and cost of living have grown for middle class Minnesotans. Raising the minimum wage will affect a large number of workers who currently earn low wages in the restaurant, healthcare service, and other industries, and will put more money in the pockets of middle class families. The House also passed their combined pension omnibus bill that included all the provisions recommended by the Pension Commission. The Senate has passed one of the bills and will likely hear the next omnibus bill this week. The Senate did not amend the two bills into one. This week, as predicted, both bodies will start to hear more and more bills on the floor of their respected bodies. MAPE's whistleblower bill is on the schedule to be heard on the House floor today. Anticipating passage of the bill, we will work to ensure the Senate also hears the bill and we ultimately get a bill to the governor that he can sign into law. Over the next week and through the end of the session, we will be moving away from these weekly legislative videos and going with more immediate written updates from the Capitol, including reports on particular pieces of legislation that impact MAPE members. To follow those updates, just go to the front page of the MAPE website. A slider on the front page will direct you to the information. That's all for this week. For more up-to-date information and to keep informed, visit the MAPE webpage, Facebook page, and Twitter feed.